Okay, so this is not going to be so much of a long video tire for today. So, um, basically, what we've done now is made the part. It's now glassed in. The black right there is wet resin and fiberglass that I made. There was a little bit of a deficit right there when I was sanding. You can see where it's nice and gray, where everything came on nice and smooth. And then those are low spots right there. So that was like a really big low spot. So I filled that in with fiberglass. And so uh, that way it went nice and hard. I could do it with Bondo, but Bondo costs a little bit more. And uh, when you do it with the fiberglass, it'll stay consistent more. So you got a little bit more of a contour, which I like. Uh, this area back here by the tire, I really like because that's going to transcend into a detail that I have for the diffuser or the part that goes right behind this fender. So that's like the beginning part of it. So I really like how that came out. Um, the the parts I was going to show you in here where it's nice and straight in here, I can't show you now because I have it screwed in and this has to cure it in place. But this came out all nice. So it's going to be a real nice seam line right here. Um, and so overall, you know, I'm, I'm cool with how it came out. So uh, it's just a matter of putting a new skin on it so it'll be nice and blocked out. And then it's separate. You know, we thought ahead where everything is going to separate from, which is right around here. Goes up. There'll be a flange in the back there for the other part to uh, direct the air. Um, this is going to be all one piece. I think I'll just make a second part of the mold because I want this to be nice and clean. I don't want a seam line right there on that edge so I need to make that all one piece uh, we sanded this down so this contour is the same as the other side and uh, it's been taken off and put back on so I know everything matches perfectly so the body lines and everything are good so uh, that's the way a part supposed to be made